More on the, uh, the wild market there. We speak to Jack Pukowski, managing partner at JFP Holdings, uh, live for us in Beijing. And uh, Jack, it's, it's been quite the ride. If this was a month ago, we'd be talking about new highs. And now it's a month later, we're talking about stabilizing the markets on the verge of a potential crash. What do investors make of it? Well, it's been an exciting couple, uh, you know, a couple of weeks, uh, certainly. You know, I think that, uh, you know, it's, it, you know, it's very easy to look at this on a short-term basis. But I think what people need to keep in mind that after really being stuck at 2,000 for much of the last 15 years, you know, the, uh, you know, the markets over the last year have really increased quite a bit. And I think that that's a very positive sign for the, uh, for the future of, of the stock market in China. I don't remember a time when, when the market would move around so much and there would be so much reliant or expectation from investors that, hey, I'm waiting for the government to step in. I'm waiting for the government to do something. I'm waiting for the government to, to, to help us. It, have investors perhaps gotten a little too complacent, expecting the government will, will step in every time something unusual happens? Well, you know, I think it's a natural reaction when the market goes up, you know, like it has over the last year that, you know, investors think it's 